How's it going, guys? It's me, the Don't Talk Geek, here today to talk about the next episode of Kiss Nightbird, episode 7, and the conclusion to Honoka Maki Maki's arc, basically. I don't know if her real name is Maki. I'm pretty sure it's Honoka, but then they just call her Maki as a nickname. But it's cool because, you know, they're both Love Live characters, and you know I love my Love Live. Anyways, um, this episode, so, you know, episode 5, not episode 5, episode 6, gives a little bit more detail of Maki's background and how she worked on this cool popular shoujo manga with Ruru and how her partner died. And in this episode, it starts off really well when all the kids Nivers are at Ruru's house trying to get some information about herself and how she passed away. And, you know, like, that scene when, like, her the mom goes, like, AWOL on all the kids Nivers because Nico and everyone trying to defend Maki, that was pretty, like, wow. Like, I mean, you went up in their house and, like, they're talking smack about their daughter. Not smack, but, like, trying to like defend Maki, it was really a thing, but basically, from what I, rece I remember, but, um, Ruru supposedly had this sort of illness, or, like some kind of disease or something about her kidney, I forget exactly what it was, but it was an illness, and basically she passed away after she was split up from Maki, Maki split up with Ruru before in doing their last chapter, so Ruru did the whole last chapter of their series by herself, and then it just happened afterwards that she passed away. And that's why Maki supposedly blames herself for Ruru's death. She has some blame towards it because for some reason, like, you know, she split off and then she didn't really talk to her and then she passed away from the illness after completing that last chapter. You know, now, like, we understand now this whole situation that Maki is going through and it's like, you know, you can't really blame her because, you know, like, Ruru had this illness and it was just, like, you know, bad timing and just, like, it just happened. But I guess, you know, we understand how Maki is sort of, like, guilty of this because she wasn't there and whatnot when she died and you know this whole situation is like how do you resolve this situation it was so really like complicated and whatnot and you know all the kids nivers and everyone were just trying to like okay how do we help out maki how do we you know sort of save her from this right and then it's like oh we could try being her friend like Nico and yuta suggested but easier said than done, right? It's, it's Honoka we're talking about here. So, you know, after a whole episode of, like, talking about the whole series and whatnot, and sort of, like, trying to understand Maki and Ruru through the manga, and just seeing these this true pair, this, these girls are, like, the bestest of friends because they were the first friends for each other, and they sort of, they worked so well together when they have the same interest of creating stories, drawing art, and, you know, trying to create, like, a manga. They became the best of friends, and they were, like, the only friends they had for each other. And it's so sad that one of them had to disappear because, or one of them passed away. And you know, it's really tragic. And eventually, it comes to the point where Yuta talks to Honoka and she's like, ask, she's telling her, like, you have to read the last chapter of your manga. And apparently, from the looks of it, Honoka has not read that chapter, the, the chapter that Ruru made herself. And that holds the whole answers to Ruru and Maki's complication and the series, like, just the relationship in, all together. So she does read it, and eventually, you know, it comes to the the point where, like, Ruru really did care for Maki, and, like, you know, even though they were sort of, like, separated, all, like, Ruru truly just wanted for Maki to smile and to be happy because she enjoyed seeing Maki smile. It was, like, it's following the same story as the shoujo manga that they had. They didn't show all the manga, but it sort of flew the same way, where they both sort of liked each other, and then when it came to the point, like, you know, in the, the manga story they wrote, the teacher has a, uh, no, the, the student has a, um, the student loves the teacher, but then eventually they break off because, you know, I think that the teacher wanted the student to be, no, the student wanted the teacher to be happy, and that's the same thing that happens with Ruru and uh, Honoka, because, you know, they had to split up, but then, you know, in the end, Ruru didn't want Honoka to be sad or disappointed in her death, she wanted her to be happy, and that's all she wanted from Honoka, and that was a really tragic story. And eventually, you know, they felt that pain. That no, wasn't really pain in the end, where everyone jumps into the ocean full of seaweed and whatnot, to, their clothes. It was just sort of like, you know, resolved. Like, you know, Honoka did not read this chapter. These were Ruru's feelings that she made herself, and you know, because Honoka did read them, she didn't understand and she didn't understand what Ruru wanted to convey to her, and that was a really touching ending. And at the end, 
you know, their their kids and eye remarks are probably evolving somehow, or like, you know, they're not feeling physical pain, they're feeling emotional pain and their emotional happiness and emotions. It's so, it's getting, it's it's like, the, learn, like every single time we learn about these characters, their powers somehow get stronger and then their the effects get more bigger and whatnot. And it's really awesome. And now, like, Maki is saying, it's like, oh, you know, we're kids and eye we know our pain, we share our pain we're more than friends or lovers is like you know what these like they are technically like um these people these kids nivers they know a lot more about each other than like a lot of people and you know it was really touching ending for Honoka and Ruru's story so now the question is who's next because you know we learned about Chidori we had two episodes for Chidori um Katsuhira genuinely or continuously get some more development throughout every single episode. This was Honoka, so now we got the rest of the crew to sort of, you know, see and understand and learn more about them. So I can't wait to see that happen. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you enjoyed this touching story of Honoka, Maki, and Ruru. Charles did Maki. It was a really touching story. And I gotta give props once again that these girls are freaking manga artists. You have one doing the art and one doing the story. It's a perfect combo, as always, in animes. So anyways, guys, subscribe, because next week I'll be doing next episode, episode 8 of Kids Niver, and I'm talking about that. And if you have any questions or comments, or, you know, what you guys think about this episode, leave them in the comments section below, or tell me at my Twitter, at the Taku. And until then, guys, I'll see you guys on the next video on the Taku and me, Chow. So take care, guys, and matane, and keep drawing some manga. Shh.